Hey, we get lectured a whole lot from the left telling us to follow the science. And sometimes it's a lot more than a lecture. We get screamed at. Follow the science. Listen to the scientists, we're told. It's just hard to figure out what science these folks are following themselves. Now, when I'm told that a biological boy can declare himself to be a girl and even participate in girls' sports, I'm wondering what the science is that says that makes sense. You see, when I was a little boy, I used to pretend to be a cowboy, a soldier, a superhero, or a policeman. But not one person in my neighborhood actually believed I was any of those things. I sometimes even got a yardstick and the lid from a metal garbage can. And I pretended to be Sir Lancelot with my imaginary sword and shield. But I never really believed that I was Sir Lancelot. Nobody else did either. I really wasn't thinking about the science. I was just living in a place called reality. My God-given biological assignment as a boy couldn't be imagined away. And if I'd tried to insist that everyone call me Marianne instead of Mike, and if I'd worn a dress to school in the second grade, I can assure you that no one would be applauding me for my courage in demanding that I be called by my preferred pronouns. Now, have you noticed that the boys who pretend to be girls usually end up winning athletic contests for girls? But do you ever hear of a girl winning in sports against boys when she declares that she is a boy? So if gender is just something I can choose the same way I choose an ice cream flavor, why aren't the results the same? Maybe science can explain that. And abortion supporters say that we need abortion because it's to protect women's health. But how is a woman's health protected by conducting an unnatural irreversible surgical procedure that results in the death of a baby, especially when the baby is a girl, or for those who may not realize it, a future woman? Sure didn't protect her health, doesn't science really say that when 23 male chromosomes unite with 23 female chromosomes, those 46 chromosomes become a unique human being and has the biological imprint of his or her DNA that will be his or hers for the rest of one's life? We get it that climate does change, but it's always been changing. Most real scientists believe that climate is cyclical, not linear meaning that there are patterns that repeat themselves rather than climate simply operating in a straight line. The people who are most ashamed and alarmed that we're making too big a carbon footprint by using oil and gas, they're the ones who fly around in private jets, live in large and energy-consuming homes, and get driven in large chauffeured limousine vehicles. And hasn't science always said that in an outbreak of severe disease, We've got to isolate the sick people from the healthy people. Then why in the name of COVID-19 did we isolate the healthy people and quarantine them? Doesn't seem very scientific. Look, I wasn't the best science student in my high school, but I learned enough to know that I couldn't pretend to be a girl when I wasn't. I couldn't think it was okay to take the life of an innocent baby because that might make a woman healthier or that if we'd walk or ride bicycles everywhere, we could somehow save polar bears and the coastline. I'm all for science, I really am. But some of the insanity that the left is peddling is far from being scientific. It's not science, it's just plain silly. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like then subscribe and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>